Okay, we're back. We hear our car go by, so we apologize. Yeah, it's interesting to me, too, because they, they don't mention, or well, at least Akasha mentions that her fellow sister, you know, who eventually got corrupted and turned into a blood raven, but they don't really mention that the warrior is the Dark Wanderer from Diablo 1. And there's almost no lore, at least in Diablo 2, well, at least that I've ever seen, unless you read the book, possibly, that ever mentions that the sorcerer ever becomes the summoner. You know, because everyone just explains about the whole arcane sanctuary, but I'm pretty sure you have to actually read the book in order to find out how the arcane sanctuary comes to be and stuff like that, and uh, how the sorcerer ends up in the east and so on and so forth. Ooh, this looks like a giant horse. It's very interesting to me how they all are getting corrupted so that. that was one of the things that uh, a lot of the Diablo fan base doesn't like is how that uh, Diablo 1 and Diablo 2, you know, your uh, champions are just, you know, normal people who end up fighting the, you know, evils of hell and shit like that. Comparisons to like Diablo 3 and Diablo 4, where I'm not sure about Diablo 4, but at least Diablo 3, how now they're like, more, um, like demigods in a sense. And now they're fighting like heaven and hell and all this other stuff, instead of just, you know, normal human people, which is pretty funny to me. <laughs> Just hides me a goddamn spirit over there. It's like, come on, buddy, don't be shy now. You're a mercenary for a reason. It's like I hired you to kill demons, not stand behind a corner and wave at them. Some of the spells that uh, in Diablo uh, 1 that uh, I would have loved to see in like Diablo 2. And, but then again, it's kind of based on the way Diablo 1 is designed to because like uh, Diablo 1 is more like confined, you know, more spaces, you know, cramming more enemies into small rooms instead of just open variety like Diablo 2 is, you know, because with Diablo 2 you have like more wilderness, you have more desert, and, uh, well, in this case it's better technology and stuff like that too, because it was like about four years later, three or four years later when Diablo 2 came out, oh, we found another first one, an easy path, um, there was like one area, it was like a, it was called the Chamber of Bone. It's in the other one. They literally crammed like 30 or 40 skeletons in like one room size. And uh, the room size would have been like the size of this room. Maybe slightly a little bit bigger. And it was just like 30 or 40 skeletons in there. But it's like all underground dungeons. There's like no open area whatsoever. Um, but one of the spells was called the. Uh, Infinite vision, I think like that. Or thermal vision, or some crap like that. But, oh, god damn it, shit, where's all the more stamp on it? Uh, basically, it allowed you to actually see through walls. And, uh, it was, it's one of the unique spells because I don't think it's ever been remade in any of the rest of the Diablos. But, uh, I would, like I said, I would have loved to see it in Diablo 2, but at the same time, I could see, uh, 
a werber one. Yes, I'm thinking werber. The, the werber helmets are only strictly the pluggy because I don't remember them ever being in Diablo 2, the original or destruction. I don't know how to do that. Uh, getting off topic here. Uh, because with Diablo 2, it's more open, so it's not more crammed in like Diablo 1 is. Uh, I think that really the only exception that would actually really benefit from that, that is like the dungeons, so, so like the barracks or like the flare dungeon, where they're more crammed into small spaces where something like that would actually come to handy where you can actually see enemies through walls. Um, and then they had um, spells and scrolls called, I think it was like Flash or, well, not Flash, um, oh, readjust my leg here uh god i got oh phase was it was it was basically a uh think of uh, oculus what how it gives you like a 50 chance to get randomly teleported when struck uh think like that but in like a scroll or, or spell version of it <laughs> it was like really weird uh what are we looking at here i don't even remember the stats we were even doing And then they had one called Flash, which basically was uh, Nova for Diablo 2, which was hilarious to me. And they had uh, firewalls broken in Diablo 1. They have firewall, they have lightning, they have charge bolts. Uh, Hydras used to be called Guardian in Diablo 1, which is hilarious. And they still had teleport in there. They had holy bolt in there. Uh, but there's all s s uh, all types of unique spells that were in Diablo One that I wish they would have brought over to Diablo Two, but they never did so. And uh, I know, in, like in the Diablo community of like Sweet Phil and like Ginger Gaming and like uh, Mr. Llama, everyone's all saying the same thing that, that Blizzard needs to remaster. Uh, Diablo 1 and that just will never happen. Blizzard even eh, it's not either. Uh, Blizzard even flat out said they will not be remastering Diablo 1 just because of how I guess how, I don't want to say how clunky Diablo 1 is but just some of the way the game is designed it was just you know they don't want to bother putting the time and effort to even bother doing it. So then again we never expected to have a Diablo 3 or Diablo 4 either. You know, Diablo 2 was supposed to be the end of it. And then, 10 years something later, <clears throat> we end up getting the goddamn Diablo 3, so. This is one of the instances where Shockwave would come in handy, but. Really Did y'all move the hell out of my goddamn way? I'm like five of you assholes over here, it's really annoying. That's one of the annoying things too is with the uh, skeleton fight. Uh, he had the ability to actually bring back his own skeletons. So it was basically, <coughs> goddamn, you had to get all of his skeletons into one room and then drag him away from his skeletons so that he wouldn't be able to bring him back. It was the only way to cheese him. At least that I found the most easiest way. Got my good old electric blanket here. Arthritis is being pain in my ass, and all these damn storms coming in. We used to have like another five goddamn days of rain and shit. Okay, enough with the rain now. Having psoriatic arthritis in your goddamn knee is not fun. It's like someone taking a sledgehammer to your goddamn knee and then trying to walk around. It's like, no thanks. I think I mentioned like one of my other videos they were already talking about making a Diablo 5 and it's like Blizzard needs to just like pump its brakes you know stop making goddamn Diablo games for the moment so focus on the games you have now you know Diablo 4 is already a pile of shit as it is you know oh, uh, fix that goddamn game first and then you know working on expansions and shit like that 
because like Diablo 3 was already a giant flop when it came out, which is to be expected, especially with like Battle.net. The, the one thing that they messed up about is that they made it strictly online only, which was just stupid. You know. um, that's right there is where basically Blizzard, in my opinion, failed when they started making their games online only. It's like, oh yeah, you want to play this new Diablo game? <laughs> Hope you've got internet because there's no single player to it. It's like, you shit. And they basically did the same thing with Diablo 4. Except they turned into more of a massive MMO than anything else, instead of a dungeon crawler as it is. And then, uh, once again, online only. You know. And that just became a, became a giant flop. You know. It's like, I don't know what the hell Blizzard, I don't think Blizzard even knows what the hell they're doing anymore. They're just... Like a shark in the water, all they see is goddamn money. They don't care about the quality of their game anymore. He is just like a horde in this goddamn place. What happened? 600 or something health in life. Poison still wrecks me. Storm Moon the Hawk. I'm gonna wound in a storm. That was another thing too is that um, with uh, Diablo 1 is that I come to find out too that there is no nightmare and hell difficulty for single player. It's only on multiplayer that you actually get um, the higher difficulties which it's kind of shit because there's a bunch of crap you have to download in order to play Battle.net for single player, so uh, I think that's kind of a huge default about Diablo 1 besides uh, not having a stash, not building to run. I know there's another thing that people don't like about Diablo 1 is the character's pace speed is too slow for them because they're so used to like Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Diablo 4, where you can actually run, you know, where... Um, Diablo 1's run is basically just like a medium sprint, than, well, medium walk than anything else. What the hell is this goddamn thing on? Uh, that was another thing I would have loved to see too, is uh, they had uh, different shrines in Diablo 1 that would give you like positive or negative effects or would just give you just some random effect. So instead of like Diablo 2 where you knew what uh, shrines basically gave you what. So like a skill shrine, it would give you one point or three points to all your skills, you know, to your skill tree, you know. So you needed to hunt those down or just farm them up to get that better skill to last a little longer in a, in a fight or something like that. But you have stuff like goat shrines in Diablo 1 where it would just give you some random effect. You know, you could take like it. It would either negative your stats, it would give you positive stats, it would take like one stat away from one stat and give it to another. So for instance, it, was, uh, it would take let's say like one um, vitality stat, one point from that. It would take that away and put it into your strength. You know, random shit like that. But uh, Diablo 1 basically, or Diablo 2 just basically came predictable when it comes to Skill shrines of that because you just know what they exactly do. Where the hell is this one on the ground? All right, he's bringing his enemies back. You're a little shit. Or it would just like sometimes maybe just even randomly teleport you to just a random room or part of the map. So it's like playing Diablo 1, which is like a complete game. Because you never really knew what you were going to get, so it always kept you on your toes. Yeah. Uh, the one thing I can say that from Diablo 1 to... We're at uh, 14 and a half minutes there. Uh, Diablo 1 to Diablo 2 is that you can no longer dupe. Uh, I know duping was a thing back in Diablo 2, uh, before Pluggy and you know other versions of Diablo came out. Uh, Pretty sure it's no longer a thing anymore since they've updated and patched the game so many goddamn times. Uh, 
duping was one thing, and the other one that, you know, if you knew how to do it, you know, then you could easily just dupe any item you wanted. And, uh, let me tell you, uh, duping the other one is fun, and it's an easy way to make a lot of gold. So, I'll even throw an example out there for you guys, too. I'll even show you guys how to actually do the other one. Just by doing through the yellow two. I mean, it's not going to work, but it'd just be like a tutorial if you ever decide to pick up the other one. Uh, it's on this way there. It might be down here. I would like to get Doriel on this goddamn video if we can. Three minutes left at most. That way either. Alright, yeah, it's good. Always be. It's not always down on the bottom, but uh, I'd say maybe like maybe a good 80% of the time, and it usually will be. Oh! This is uh, not what I expected to run into. It's like, hey, we heard you get here, you get a. Try to reach Durio in the next like five minutes. Well, we're the bouncers and we're gonna stop now. It's boat Even Diablo One's enemies had some really weird ass things. Like one of them was like a Chupacabras. Was just think like one of those little frog creatures, but like a beta version of them. Some of the names. Things from real areas, though. And uh, that's the one thing, too. If you ever do decide to pick up uh, Diablo 1, uh, your own spells can kill you. So, it can kill your own teammates, too, because there was no such thing as uh, turning PvP off or friendly fire off. It was always on. So, your own spells could kill your own allies if you were careful. Especially if you use something like Firewall. You know. So that was one of the things I'm glad that they actually changed in the Fellow like Diablo uh, franchises. Instead of being a mandatory thing, it's, you know, complete optional for like a PvP thing. Maybe it's not south. Okay. Ooh, really creeping up on the time here. I was expecting to get the door by now, but usually we get lucky enough if it's on the bottom. Is Doriel not gonna be up here? You could just get the hell out of my god anyway. Okay. I didn't fight all the skeletons. Not this way either. What the hell? Do we seriously get that bad of a roll for a Duriel's tomb? It's gotta be up north then. What the hell? I was not expecting to get this bad of a roll. Huh. Uh, I might just extend this video out just so we can kill Duriel. Cause this is a little. Let's see, yeah, it's gonna be north. Uh, that was another thing in Diablo 1 too. Uh, durability was a huge thing in Diablo 1. If your shit broke, it was gone. There was no fixing it whatsoever. So if you had like, say, a full gear of uniques, and you were just like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this last level out of the way. You know, I can repair my shit when I get to town. No, there was no nothing like that whatsoever. Uh, once your stuff broke, it was permanently deleted. There was no way of getting it back. There was no, oh, your your weapon broke, so it's still in your inventory, and you can go back to town and repair it. It would cost you an ass and a gold. No, it was permanently gone. So that was one of the things you had to be really careful about was durability. Because uh, you didn't pay attention. You would literally just lose all your stuff. It's got to be up here. Yeah, we're already 
been pushing almost 20 minutes. Hang on, where the hell is this goddamn thing? Guarded by like five goddamn unravelers. Um, that was nothing to do with Diablo One. Variety of weapons, not really such a thing. Uh, like if you were to go to um, an area for Diablo Two, for instance, and they come back in town, their um, weapons and gear would you know change. But with Diablo One, there was no such thing like that because they would always remain the same no matter if you went to a dungeon or you went to a crypt or you know wherever you know the only way to actually refresh any of the weapons or any of your gear or something like that was you literally had to save your game and then exit out the game and then reload it back up you know uh, that was another thing that I wish they would have kept in uh, the upcoming Diablo games which I don't think they have uh, I'm not sure about Diablo 4 is that uh, with Diablo 1 you could actually manually save your game so instead of like for instance it's like how it is how it says save and exit there was no save and exit it would literally choose let you choose to manually save your game and then uh, it would reload up your game where you last saved so it wouldn't just put you in town then you had to refight all the enemies all over again uh, that was another thing too is that uh, once you cleared out a dungeon, enemies didn't respawn. So, uh, it kind of really made the game a lot more grindy and more level restricted. So that you couldn't just be an overpowered piece of crap character. So. You hanging in there, buddy? No. Tell me your I'm looking to kick your ass. It's like hand or helper. You ready to go for a second round, buddy? There we go. Scrum is gonna die. This might be like a 25 minute video. Dude is actually still relatively big compared to the Werebear and Chicken Boots. Um, first unique from Dario for our Werebear. So basically, I'll show you how to actually dupe in Diablo 1. Like I said, it doesn't work in Diablo 2. Uh, so let's say, uh, for instance, this charm you wanted, you know, and charms are not a thing in Diablo 1 either. Just rings and amulets. It's very restricted. There was no gloves. There was no belts. There was no boots. It was literally just a helmet, armor, your weapon, two rings, and an amulet. That's it. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, let's say you wanted this charm, for instance. So you're like, okay, I want this charm. It's really good. You know, say it sells for like 3,000. You know, you're short, short on gold. So basically what you would do is that you would drop your charm down. And it's right there, of course. And then uh, your HUD is completely different, too. Your potions would be like right over here. And basically as you would run over to catch that, catch the charm, at the same time as you're about to grab that charm, you would take a potion and you would drop it and if you did it correctly it would actually take that potion and change the uh, the item number to that to that charm so as that potion would drop and you you picking it up at the same time you would actually get two uh, two item two items of the same thing so I would have two of the same charms however you have to be careful because if you put the two duplicates on the ground the game would actually sense that and it would say uh, uh, duplicate item, you know, you cheated and it would delete that duplicate item. So you had to be careful when duplicating items. The Archangel. Uh, that was another thing too, uh, because you could manually save uh, with Diablo 1. You could just, any items you wanted to save for later, you could just throw on the ground and then when you reloaded up your game, they would still be there. They wouldn't delete, uh, which is a really nice thing too. 
So, like I said, there's a lot of stuff in Diablo 1 that I wish they would have kept in Diablo 2 and the rest of the franchises, which I don't think they ever did. Um, but, you know, that's just my personal opinion from starting to replay Diablo 1 again. Um, my ship is your ship. But we're already, like, at 25 minutes here. <laughs> so, we're going to end the video here. So, uh... Stay safe, health, and sanitize. Let me know, have you ever played Diablo 1? Uh, I highly recommend you actually do. Uh, there's like a Hellfire version, which is kind of like an expansion version, but it gives you like a stash and like faster run walk, but it doesn't really improve much. And plus you have to down like some third party crap in order for it to work. But uh, I highly recommend playing Diablo 1. It is a lot harder than Diablo 2 is. And you're very limited on your stuff. So if you want more of a challenge, play Diablo 1. But uh, think about dropping a like. Thank you for subscribing. Leave comments below if you haven't said it already. And I make sure to check them all out. Alright, see you guys.